Hi, you guys. Welcome back to a, another indie new pattern roundup. This is a monthly video series that I do where I collect all of the indie pattern companies that released a new pattern in the previous month and we kind of take a look at all of them together. This is for the month of September. So these are the 15 or 20, there's kind of a lot, um, new sewing patterns that came out in September. So since there are so many, let's just jump right in, okay? All right, so first up we have the Matchy Matchy Sewing Club and they have released their High Tide set. This is vintage inspired top and shorts pairing that is breezy and so chic with the right amount of girly. I will say that the matchy matchy girls are, their patterns tend to typically be pretty girly, which I kind of like. Um, the top is a simple wide crew neck with micro puff sleeves. Well, I mean, it's also gathered. I wouldn't just call it micro puff. I guess that maybe you could, I don't know. And then it's a crop link that sits at the natural waist. That's view, and then view B includes a simple button front placket and a sweet Peter Pan collar. Wow, those are like two totally different tops. So you could easily make multiples of these out of different types of fabric and have a whole slew of tops. The high-waisted shorts have a cinched elastic waist and two wide front pleats. A pleated elastic waist short. I can honestly say I don't think I've ever seen that before. I don't hate it. It just feels a little unnecessary. Like, couldn't you have just taken away the fullness with the elastic? But I guess the whole point is to have this style line. I don't know. Very interesting. Um, two, okay, pleats creating a flowy A-line silhouette. Inseam pockets are the finishing touch. on this comfortable sophisticated set this pattern also includes the crop length shown in the photos as well as a full length option that is three and a half inches longer i'd like to know what the inseam of the cropped length is um simple shapes easy construction take the overwhelm out of sewing and help you find the joy of discovery all right so sizing and fabric size chart goes from xxs to two xs to 6xl um, we have a chest measurement of 31 to 64 hip is 34 to 67. definitely one of the more inclusive patterns that we see um, it looks like finished measurements give us four inches of ease in the bust not too shabby and what is that? Three in the hip? I don't believe you. <laughs> Three in the hip? I don't think so. I don't think so. I would garner to, I would, what is the term? I would bet that there's closer to like at least five, right? With the pleat and everything, there's got to be more than three. Do we get a side view? Oh, well. Maybe there is only three, now that I'm seeing hands in pockets. Mm, I still, a three, a circ I don't know, I don't believe three. I don't believe three. I would go for five or six, personally. <clears throat> and then here are your fabric requirements for the top. Um, two, and a two and three quarters or three, depending on the width of your fabric and the size that you're making. And then that's it, okay. Included with download, these are all the options that you have to print it out. Difficulty is going to be beginner, and then the shorts are intermediate. Oh no, that's the top. B top is intermediate. What is the difficulty for the shorts, though? Are the shorts a separate letter? They should be. Where are these things lettered, even? They aren't even lettered here, so that's just a little bit confusing. View A and B, and then it's just the shorts, right? 
it, well, it said it doesn't even I really identify view A either. It just says view B. Yeah, and it never I don't see the letters written down anywhere. Maybe they are in the files themselves. I'm not sure, but it should be on here somewhere. And then the short should be a view C. It should all be separate. Notions, you just need elastic and buttons. So very affordable to make. The fabric shown button, it doesn't work. So they didn't get that put in yet. Oh, but they'll sell you the elastic that you need. That's cool. Okay, so that's the first one. Matchy matchy high tide set. It is really cute. I love a set. And again, those shorts, they got there. I'm going to be thinking about those shorts. Okay, next, Tilly and the Buttons released a new pattern. This is the Ramona skirt. <clears throat> um, it is described as sleek and chic pencil or mini skirt with dreamy details, um, patch pockets or faux flaps, optional lining, mini length or knee length, invisible zip at the side, four waist dart, center back seam, and gently curved waistband for a great fit. Yeah, I was just looking to see where it hit. Like, is it supposed to be? Like, on her, it's mid-rise, but on her, it's high-rise. So I wasn't sure what the intention on the rise is. Um, choice of casual patch pockets or 60s-inspired faux pocket flaps. Optional lining with full instructions included. Confident beginner. Um, these are the model sizes. Pattern sizes is her range, which is US 2 through 30. And that gives you a bust. Well, this is, let's look at the hip because this is a skirt. Um, two through 30. So 35 inches. Um, I don't know where the rest of the chart is. Oh, here we go. Um, labeled with numbers from 1 to 15. Use the body measurements. To... Oh, that's confusing. US 2. Oh, I see. So it's 33 inches to 61 inches. Okay. Very good in size inclusivity, I think. Even on the petite end, you guys let me know. Um, like I reached out to some plus size gals when I first started doing this and asked them what like an appropriate, like like how high the the chart should go, like that where they would feel like they were really included. Um, the petite girls, I don't think I ever did that. So you guys let me know. Is a 33 inch hip inclusive enough for you guys on the low end? Or do you wish it went even lower than that? All right. Fabric suggestions are medium to heavyweight woven fabrics that hold their shape. Corduroy, denim, drill, which I think is twill in Europe. Jacquard tweed or wool suiting. Slippery lining fabrics like Bimberg, Rayon acetate or poly and then these are your fabric requirements lining is optional no notions list oh supplies oh here we go here we go interfacing invisible zipper buttons okay perfect and then here's how the patterns are delivered okay let's look at some of these pictures I mean, it is a pretty standard pencil skirt. Uh, this is really sweet, the kind of little vintage flaps. <clears throat> Mini version. Oh, that jacquard is so pretty. Yes. Here's the back. Yeah, it looks good. I'll say, though, that on this model in particular, I'm not sure... She really needs the curved waistband. It's sitting so high on her waist already. Um, so she could have just done a straight waistband. I wonder, you know me, I have trust issues, okay? So when I see something like this, I'm like, what is she hiding? What is she doing with her thumbs? Like, is she pushing everything forward? Like, <laughs> um, here you can see, though, it doesn't seem that bad. The, 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 whatever gaping is happening, I don't... 
Yeah, so I guess either the curved waistband is very subtle, like she said it was subtle, but maybe it's really subtle, or these sweaters are just doing a lot of the work to make it look like it's not gaping. Because on the other more plus size model, um, please excuse the sirens, oh my word, fire trucks. Wow, okay. Um, on this model, it sits, well, it's not at her natural waist, but it's, I mean, it is mid-rise. Not as high as the other model, but I don't really see any weirdness here either in terms of fit at the waistband. All of these crinkles and wrinkles you're getting from these weird poses that they're doing hands in pockets as always. No, I'm just kidding. Um, yeah, this one seems to be a pretty standard wrinkle. It's pointing to her thigh. So she might have needed a, an athletic thigh adjustment possibly. Oh, but her knee is popped. So that could be it. That could be it. And then in the back, yeah, the that waistbands look pretty smooth. So yeah, maybe when she says it's a subtle curve, it truly genuinely is a very subtle curve that you don't need to take, um, that you could wear high to mid-rise and not get the little gape in the back. Okay, I, d I love the little pleat here too, or the little slit there also. Okay, simple, simple little Tilly in the buttons pattern. Next up, we have Made for Mermaids. This is the Rose Skort, um, beautiful woven skort, flat front with two darts in the back for a great fit. But is that, a, no, it's not a waist. Okay, hold on. Don't skip ahead. Um, choose between three faux front wrap skirt views. View A is a simple A-line front. View B has an angled front and view C has a curved front. Um, view A and B are both finished with a simple hem. View C is finished with bias tape. The waistline is finished with a facing and side invisible zipper. How interesting. Um, there is elastic sandwiched between the back shorts and facing for an easy fit. So not an elastic waist per se, but there is some elastic back there to help pull that closer to your body made for woven fabrics now made for mermaids is not necessarily known for woven fabrics so i get a little bit nervous these pictures will be able to tell us a lot about how their drafting and grading for woven fabrics is going um okay this all we already read all of this sizing fits natural waist 23 to 57 hip 34 to 64 intermediate suggested fabrics um, woven fabrics with drape you may use fabrics with less drape such as cotton and it will give more vintage stiff feel <laughs> uh, definitely not a technical term um i think what she what does she mean by vintage like crispness of fabrics i don't think is a vintage thing i think you know I don't think, I mean, maybe a lot more of the stuff back then had less drape in it, <laughs> but she's recommending linen, voile, lawn, batiste, silk crepe, rayon crepe, chiffon, chambray, poly blends. Fabrics like quilting cottons will work as well. I, mm, I don't know about that for a short Maybe the skirt part is fine. We'll look at some of these little tester makes and see what kind of fabrics they used. I just feel like these really lightweight drapey ones are not going to be good for like a fitted, semi-fitted short, especially in the back. Invisible zipper, elastic uh, for the back casing, interfacing, hook and eye, and then the basics. Okay. Okay. Great. Let's take a look at some of these photos. Okay. So I do think this one gives it a cute little athletic 
look. Um, the zipper is on the side, which is also interesting. There's a lot of fabric there because you also have the third layer of this. I would move it to the center back if it were me personally. Um, but yeah, there is no waistband. All of this is just a facing and then it's top stitched. So that's why the darts go all the way through. Here are all your views. We already looked at all of this. Okay. I want to see some pictures. Oh, I can't tell what that is. Hold on. I'm going to adjust the brightness. I don't know if that's going to do anything on y'all's end. Certainly does on my end. Okay. Um, yeah, that looks drapey, right? Like, huh. It also, yeah, yields like a pretty, like, I don't know. Construction gets a little iffy whenever you do that. Um, here's Veronica and hers. Hard to tell what her fabric is. It doesn't seem as drapey though. Here's another version. I'm just trying to, yeah, again, hers looks pretty stable. See how it's sticking out like that? That makes me think it's a pretty stable fabric. Here's another one that might be quilting cotton. Yeah, I, I, I wouldn't make it out of drapey fabric. This looks like it's like a, maybe like a lightweight wool or something, but look how thin it is. You can see through here, kind of the light coming through better, but some issues here, a lot of issues here. And again, I talk about this all the time when tester makes our used as the photos on the website. I don't know if this girl made any adjustments. I don't know if she was a, not allowed to make adjustments, like if she just had to make it as as it came to her. Um, but this here feels a little strange. And then of course, all of this here is also not great. We also have some issues here regarding fit and in the back crotch too. Um, but yeah, I just don't know if or what she was able to do. This one, she looks like she sized up quite a bit. Um, I do think the rise is good though. She's getting at her natural waist, which is good. Um, this one feels like a, maybe a micro suede. We don't get to see the back. I have a feeling the back is a little short. This has got to be some kind of cotton fabric as well. So people are choosing the more stable of the fabrics that she recommended. But again, a few issues through the crotch area and then that same issue of there being too much fabric through the crotch curve in the back. Yep. Again, another like suiting type of fabric, but look how short it is in the back, guys. No, no. So she has her hands here. So I can't see if it's falling down in the front. I can't see what's happening, but that is not long enough. And also it's at an angle, which is kind of strange. Okay, so here's another version. This might be some kind of like flannel maybe. Cute enough. And yeah, maybe like a twill here. Okay, so my recommendations in looking through this are to make it out of a bottom weight fabric, first and foremost. Secondly, I would fit the shorts separately. Like I would do a muslin in the shorts alone and then add on this panel and make your final adjustments there. I think you, I think mostly the issues with the shorts are in the crotch curve, which, okay, that's kind of obvious that happens. If you're going to have issues, that's where they're going to happen. Hers are a lot longer in the back. I wonder if she lengthened them. So clearly some discrepancy is going on there between person to person. Um, but yeah, I would definitely check the crop. It looks like if all of them were pointing and the at the center front, then oh, I don't know. I can't think of it right now. My brain is not working. But see, all of this is too tight. So this needs to be let out, you know, bigger in the hip. And I think that could also fix the issues in the, in the front. 
but also if you remove from the back and lower the the crotch depth no crotch line if you lower the crotch line that should help too and then double check the length this looks fine on her but she i, I have a butt so my bubble butt is going to take up a lot of space there um but yeah see how hers is a little bit better she's got a longer this might be a little too long but she's got a longer like a lower crotch point and i think that's helping with some of those pointy wrinkles and then it's also better fitting through the hip okay i don't want to get in the weeds about this but i know you guys are always asking about fitting so this is an embroidered linen same thing with that in the back we're also getting some pointing here too so yeah if you've made pants and you like the the look of them copy that onto this crotch curve and see how different it is Okay, oh boy. So this is Ellie and Max pattern for September. Brandy balloon sleeve cup size dolman top pattern. Um, pattern description. We have da, 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 da. cup features cup sizes. Great. Suitable for lightweight wovens. Ellie and Mac, again, is not known for their woven fabric patterns three sleeve options short long balloon with cuffs and long balloon with elastic hem so we've got the elastic hem and the cuff and then the short sleeve grown on with the sleeve added or without okay straight and curved front hem options so you can have a curvy front or a straight one two neckline finishing options binding or facing darted front bodice and then a sew along. These are all the techniques that you'll learn. I love when they do that. Comes in their regular size range, 2XS to 6X. Drafted for our curvy fit size chart. Drafted for 5.5. Five. And it is, uh, full bust is 29 inches up to 60. And the high hip, okay is wait what are these two things what mm, i'm confused now is it a range why are there two numbers in each section one of them can't be centimeters right is it but then it should say which is which i don't know which is which so either 29 and a quarter up to 63.01 no that feels weird it's got to be this is inches, right? No, this says in inches. I don't know what the difference in these two things are. Okay, so let's look at some of these photos. Um, I do have a little bit more hope for this, you know, the knit pattern designers branching out into wovens. This is a very easy to fit top. Um, the drafting of it is very, very simple. So... All things considered, it should be pretty good. However, I'm already noticing that the neckline is super wide. This could come in like the length of this little arrow for sure. It didn't say anything about being boat neck. It only talked about the balloon sleeves. But people are getting a decent fit. Again, it's just really wide neckline. And maybe that is what you're going for. I don't, I can't say, well, let me look at this. Yeah, the line drawing, <laughs> it doesn't help a lot, right? It kind of looks like it is intended to be wide, but she never says anything about that um, in terms of the shape of the neck line. Mm -hmm. So she took her elastic and smooshed them up a little bit. <laughs> Yeah, a lot of these are being made in the not ideal fabrics. These fabrics tend to be a little bit too structured. Um, I think we're looking for something a little bit lighter weight and drapey. Yeah. And then also, maybe because these people are used to sewing with her knits, it doesn't seem like the sizing is turning out right. A lot of it is too tight through the belly. 
or a ginormous sleeve. So she was able to get the bodice to fit, but then this is way, way, way too big. So I get the need for, yeah, this one's good. It's a good balance between structure for the bodice, but also, and the sleeve. Wait, that's backwards. Structure for the sleeve, so you can really see the balloon-ness of it, but also some drapiness for the bodice. Yeah, these are getting better. These should have been at the front. Oh yeah, way, way, way better. And look how different her neckline is. Again, I don't know if she altered it though. I wish they would say, oh, she made it one out of lace as an overlay. That's a cute idea. And then, yeah, this one looks great too. Okay, let's find an, yeah, here's another long sleeve one. <sighs> yeah, it just feels like it should maybe, maybe be a little bit more graded out at the belly. Hmm, but her neckline also looks different. That one looks good from the back. I mean, it is a dolman sleeve, so you can expect to see that. Yeah, no, that one looks, that one looks really good. Yeah, so it's feeling like the bodice is straight down and it should have maybe a little bit more of a kick out for people that have hips. But yeah, some of these are getting better. The sleeves still seem really long. The neckline on the more petite side is looking too wide, but I think you could get there with some simple, simple alterations. You just have to look at this stuff with a more critical eye and assess like the parts that you like and the parts that you want to adjust. But yeah, some of these are really good. I will say that the sleeve is still very, very long. This cuff should be way up here and probably also smaller but maybe it's not smaller because you didn't want to do a button to open it. Oh, cuffs are tricky. If you don't do that um, sleeve placket thing, which would have made this more difficult, um, then they have to be wide to fit over your hand. But then they, if it's too long, then they just fall off your hand. It's complicated. But okay, you guys get an idea for that one, right? Okay, next up we have, um, who is this? Um, Jessalis Patterns. This is the sparkle top and dress. Um, sleek, minimal piece designed to be a versatile wardrobe staple. Delicate straps, princess seams, and a slightly dropped waist. Clean lines and close fit. Create a modern silhouette. Perfect for layering or wearing on its own. Optional dress view adds a touch of casual sophistication. Intermediate level sewing pattern comes with beginner friendly instructions. <laughs> I mean, okay, but mm, I don't know that this feels like they're trying to say it's okay. Beginners, we got you, but trust me, I work with beginners. I, I mean, I'd have to see the instructions to determine if they're really able to describe an intermediate level project in terms that beginners really understand. The video tutorial might be helpful, but again, I'd want to see that to see how that's done. Um, variety of techniques, no surgery required. Um, zero to 34, full bust of 30 inches to 55 and a half and a waist of 24 to 54 includes a fully lined option for both the top and the dress. So yeah, lots and lots of options designed for a B cup but also provides detailed instructions for full bust adjustments or small bust adjustments. Okay. I mean, I appreciate the effort here more than you normally get on Etsy, <laughs> Etsy patterns. It is kind of a really cute design. So you have this seam going across here, then you have your princess seam and spaghetti straps, pretty straightforward, but, oh, oh, okay. That was fun. Here are the rest of the measurement chart. Seems pretty size inclusive to me. Oh yeah, okay, okay. I'm looking at fit now. Oh, I like that they put the little names here too. We should go follow all of these people. Um, I think the most important thing is determining where this is supposed to hit. Is it supposed to hit above your bust apex? Is it supposed to hit at your bust apex? Because on this girl, 
it's kind of like at it. Hold on. If we look at this video really fast, she's wearing it. Oh, it went too fast. Hold on. Let's look again when she... Hers looks like it's a little above. Yeah, I'm getting, I'm getting at. And I do love the um, visible stitching there. Lots of different fabrics from stable to semi-stable. Let's just call it that. <laughs> This is such a pretty set. I would have tucked this into the skirt though. Oh no, that's the dress. So it's a drop waist. It's fitted, fitted, fitted. And then, oh, interesting. I thought she made a set and was just wearing the top on the outside, but no. Okay. Oh, there's the nut. I wish, I want to see this without her holding it out. That's a cute outfit. What a great scrap buster. Oh, that's cute that you can wear it all seasons you know i am usually pretty leery of the etsy peeps and i probably shouldn't be as leery as i am um these all look pretty good and i don't think that drop waist is for me but you could easily raise this to your natural waist and then have a still a really cute dress okay jessalis jessalis yeah 18 bucks though 18 dollars though oof i always say this jessalis it's it's your gig right it's your business you're allowed to do whatever you want um you can charge a million dollars if you want to but i'm allowed to say that in my opinion that's way too much for this so you do you and I'll do me and, <laughs> and yeah, that's the way capitalism works, I guess. Okay. So it's just stitch has a new pattern. This is the Ladera dress, the Ladera dress, shirt dress, chic and personal addition to your wardrobe, um, relaxed fit, waist defining front tie, creating a figure flattering silhouette. Um, Blah, 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 blah. Okay. Okay. Got it. Multiple cup sizes, cinched waist with a front tie, hidden or non-hidden front button placket. Love that. Options for short, short cuffed or long sleeves. Optional side seam, side and seam pockets. Classic, classic standard color. Best suited for medium weight woven fabrics. Perfect. Sizes double zero to 40. All right. Let's check it out. It's just stitch. I some of their patterns are tried and true for so many people, um, so it's a very trustworthy company, brand, designer, all of that. I'm trying to tell how is this done, huh? I thought it was going to be like a whole separate piece sewn into the side seams, like I've seen on McCall's before. But it's not. It's like incorporated into the bodice somehow. That's actually kind of genius. Also, can we take a minute for this set in sleeve? That is a close fitting bicep, a very small sleeve head, and it fits into the arm side of the bodice perfectly. That's really impressive. That's like Vogue level stuff. Yeah, I can't figure out how this is, how is, there's got to be a seam here underneath all these ties, right? And then it's like comes down and then makes a little tie and then comes back into the seam again. I don't know. Really, really cool though. But see how she's got her elbows back and it's not pulling through here. I mean, it is a little bit, but not drastically. That's a well-designed sleeve and arm side like all those things together it means this the side seam is high enough you have enough room to move your arms around and not move the garment that's the goal as a back yoke the little cuff on the sleeve is so cute there's a side seam pocket is there a seam in here yeah there's definitely a seam right there maybe a little bit low on the waist seam but 
I'm not mad about it. Still can't see how she did it. That is cool. I just don't wear shirt dresses that much. Maybe I should. Because this one is darn cute. And I do feel like I would wear it a lot. It just feels a little dressy. <gasps> no. Floppy pockets. No, 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 no. If there's a seam here, we have to figure out how to... If there's a seam here, please, please make the inseam, seam, whatever it's called, pockets. Just draw a little... I have a video on it. Go look it up. We don't do floppy pockets. That's the only criticism I have of this is the poppy pockets. The design lines all look really good with all these darts and everything. And you get a full um, sleeve placket with the cuff as well. So, oh, and it's on the little, the little, the short sleeve too. I wasn't expecting that. Okay. Yeah. Way to go. Really good work as always. And I think she has like really great sizing for petites as well. So, um, size chart. Yeah. So A, B, C, D and double D cup and then 30 inches in the bust up to 60. Well, the A cup isn't in the larger size range. So 30 one and one eighth up to 60. Is that good for you guys for the petites in here? But yeah, the A, B, C, D, double D in a double zero. I know that's super, super hard to find. I feel like somebody was asking me about that at the um, sewing conference I was at. I have to remember it's just stitch. It's just stitch. Okay, True Bias has a Bryn cardigan. If you don't know, the True Bias Nico top is like a, I mean, it's like a cult classic. It's like a fan favorite. Like everybody and their brother, when they make that, they love it. It looks good on everyone. This feels like the little sister to that. Well, maybe the older sister because she's a little sexier. Um, deeper V, button front. But other than that, everything about this looks a lot like the Nico. So if you're proficient at pattern hacking, you can easily make this from that. Otherwise, it's $16. $16 is probably like right on the cusp of what I would spend. Only because I know the Nico or the, yeah, because I know the Nico is so good, I can anticipate this one being so good. So I would justify the $16, but I prefer 10 and under. That's, that's my sweet spot. View A is sleeveless. View B has a short sleeve and view C has a long sleeve. All views can be sewn in three lengths, cropped. Oh, it comes a top. Okay. Hip length and dress length ending a few inches above the ankle. Center back seam for extra shaping. Fabric wise, we're looking at 60% stretch for the bands. Okay. The same fabric can be used for the entire cardigan or a contrasting fabric can be used for the bands. The cardigan and bands require at least 60% stretch. So medium weight stretch fabrics like rib knit, sweater knit, jersey knit. Notions, just some buttons really. Yep, difficulty, confident beginner. Okay, measurements, good grief. Size chart is 32 up to, does it seriously only go to 18? I think so. That's kind of surprising. So 32 up to 44 and a half? Really, True Bias? I wonder if she has a separate listing for, yeah, like a plus size. That feels way behind the times for them. But you would think if there was one for that had a different size range, it, there would be a link here. Huh, interesting. All right, here are the line drawings. Sleeveless, short sleeve, long sleeve, crop, hip length, and dress length. But there's also like lots of dress lengths in between above the ankle <clears throat> and the hip. But here's that again. Here's the little tank top version. That's kind of cute. Even if you made it faux, like even if you sewed this placket down completely and these buttons weren't actually functional, that'd be cute. Oh, is, wait, hold on, hold on. I think that's the hip length and this is the cropped. Yeah, has to be. 
So this is a cardigan. Oh yeah, she's calling it a cardigan. Okay. <laughs> oh boy. Um. Yeah. There's the back. She did say there was a center back seam for extra shaping, which is good if you're super curvy. Close-ups of the sleeves. Close-ups of the, oh, this ribbonette's really pretty, of the bands and the buttons. But obviously you could make this shorter. So, okay. This is, oh, we're going to get to Cashmerette's Club now. <laughs> okay, I wasn't sure. I have the other club ones way over here, so I wasn't sure. Okay, so this is the a few pattern companies are coming out with these like monthly memberships. We have seam work that's been doing it forever, but closet core just came out with one a few months ago and someone was telling me about the cashmere Rec club. So I'm adding that as to this video every month. So we'll learn about the club pattern for all the clubs. Um, this one is for September. It was the Kenwin t-shirt raglan sleeves and a cool crossover back that won't show your bra. Easy to make, comfy to wear, be your new go-to all year round. I wonder if you could wear it back to front too. Um, sizes 0 to 32, cup sizes C through H, and exclusive to club members. So you got to join to get it. Yeah, it's like a little, um, what's it called? Mullet, like business in the front, party in the back. I don't know about this though. That needs to be like way high. Like where does her arm, where's her armpit? She doesn't have a lot of extra fabric. Hmm, weird. Um, this is Carrie. Who are you? Are you Carrie? And then down here you are Becca. Micro modal spandex two by one rib. Yeah, that could be part of the issue. A two to one rib could be it. This is Jenny. Double brush poly, everyone's favorite. Hers does have a lot of fabric right there, huh? Okay, so I actually do think something with the sleeve is is not correct with this. It should not be that low. And also, like, what is this? The short sleeve one, well, now that I'm looking at it, there is extra fabric there. Okay, so just double check that. And if you have to, like, zip this up a little bit more, um, it's easy to go back the other way than it is to have to add on fabric, obviously. So, um, but there's the back. Okay, um, I want to read about fabric. Oh, is it reversible? Could you wear it backwards? Yes, you can. Okay, awesome. Which is what she's just done. Okay. Maybe that's why the arm size is a little bit funky. But um, maybe not. It shouldn't be that noticeable. Okay, now everybody's turning this around. Okay, best fabric. Um, light to midweight knit fabrics with at least 50% crosswise stretch. Bamboo jersey, rib knits, lightweight ponte. Um, da, 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 da. Okay. Pick up a Kenwin kit. Okay, there you go. That way you can get the exact right fabric, matching thread. They have red and blue. Um, and then you can make an outfit for 30% off to pair it with. That's a cute idea. But see how, well, I'm thinking that, well, this doesn't look as bad. So this is a normal, I don't know. This is feeling weird right here now, but this is a set in sleeve versus the raglan. Maybe has she always had like really weird sleeves? Like that should be straight. Or it should come this way. One of the two. But, okay. So that is the club pattern for this month. And I'm pretty sure if you get the, like, annual membership, you get access to all the previous patterns, too. 
but if you just join for this month, you'd only get this pattern or whatever patterns for October. Okay, so next up we have Bella Loves Patterns. Oh, okay, I want to address this. She released seven patterns at once. I think that's a lot for a video like this. We're already at 45 minutes um, and we are barely halfway through. So I think what I would do is a separate Bella Loves Patterns collection review and take a look at all of these. But I did want to include them in the video so that you guys would know that these new patterns did come out. I don't know if this is going to become the norm where people just, you know, work, 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 work for months and months and months and then release them all at once. And then they don't release anything again for, you know, several months later, once a year, twice a year. I don't know. Um, we'll have to wait and see. I'm kind of on the fence. I like the idea because you can, you know, make capsule wardrobes out of this stuff, but I also like to see new things throughout the year all the time. So stay tuned for Abella Loves Patterns new collection review, just like I do for, um, like McCall's and all of them. Okay. Closet Core, not their membership, their regular pattern, pattern sale pattern what is it catalog catalog um they released the rika pants pattern okay one pants pattern two looks tailored trousers or utilitarian workwear depending on your choice of details high rise sitting just below the natural waist a three-piece waistband angled front pockets fly front stripper straight leg rika has you covered coming and going Okay, view A is cropped and tailored with deep hem cuffs, tabbed waistband, angled belt loops, and rounded back pockets with flaps. View B, which is this one, full length utilitarian with a classic waistband, wide belt loops, carpenter style pockets in the back. Pattern difficulties intermediate. Hold on, I'm just waiting for this text to scroll. There we go. Um, well, now where did it go? Jeez. Come on. <laughs> Oh my God, you have to like hit the sweet spot for this. Okay, getting closer, getting closer. Okay, there we go. Okay, all I missed was this class. All right, FAQ should be, okay, I didn't miss anything. All right, so let's go look at the pictures. Sorry if I'm making you dizzy from all the back and forth. Okay, bigger. Um, maybe not that big. What's the best way to watch this thing? Yeah, the pockets in the back are really cool. Oh, thank you. Okay, I am i don't think that they're two totally different looks, but, you know, they're different enough. So this is view A. Um, I cannot zoom in any further, so sorry, but... This one has the little crisscross belt loops, which are fun. It also has this tab and the cuff. And then this is B. So they're supposed to be high rise. This feels high rise to me, but this one, and you look at her crotch depth as it's not the, it's the rise. Look at where the crotch line is on her versus these where it's like super long and you're getting all this weird stuff, but she's also not really wearing them at her natural waist. I don't know if this is, her hands are pulling them down. Or maybe they just don't fit. They might be just be too big on her. Because um, her natural waist, you can see it really well, is right here. So this should be higher up. And then I think that the rise and the crotch line would all be fine. But this is the real star of the show here. You can see it better in the video. Yeah, you even have your little hammer holder thing. Yeah, so you can see when she pulled these up so that she could sit down, this is the amount of extra that's in there. That's got to be at least two inches. Looks pretty good from the back, though. Nice crisps. Here are those pockets again. I think those are really cool. And then, yeah, same here. Hers looks good in the rise. Her crotch level looks great. Yeah, that's really cute to have it all, like, 
top stitched like that. Extra work, but they also might have hemmed hers a little too short. But yeah, the fit on her is banging. Well, okay, there are some some drag lines pointing to her inner thigh. Um, so maybe her crotch depth is not enough. But we're, it, if this were a wearable muslin, we would be at a good starting point. Oh, it twists too. Is it supposed to do that? Twisty. Oh, yeah, I really like these cropped ones. And we can't judge any of this because she has her leg forward. But, I mean, standing like that, even with a hand in a pocket and popping one hip, looks really good. Yeah, here you can get a good view of, like, how the pocket would actually sit on a curvy body. It's not poking out too much at all, I don't think. Yeah, this could be a, a skosh higher. Just a little bit higher. So check your back rise whenever you make this, if you have a fuller butt. Okay, well, we are getting a little bit of a wedgie, which means it, there's too much fabric here. Um, so the pattern piece needs to be scooped out. I know, I know, controversial, but that's what needs to happen, okay? Don't tell anybody I said that. <laughs> the corduroy looks really good, too. Okay, we get the picture Next here. Next up is, okay, I threw this in there. It's not a garment, but Friday Pattern Company did come out with a garment bag, which I just thought was fun and cute and unique and different. Obviously, we're not going to assess this one for, like, fit or anything, but it is a really cute idea. It's only two bucks, but I think you can also, it was like, if you can pay more, you can. I don't remember. I remember seeing, yes, this. So you can even do zero dollars if you don't have two dollars or you can pay any of these amounts. So that's a really pay what you can, I guess, is what it's called. Um, so here it is. A little zipper pocket, a little place for some shoes. I don't love it out of denim. I would have done it out of like a nylon or something. I don't know, something way, way, way more structured. Or even like a canvas, maybe? But maybe they just had this scrap laying around. Folds up so you can carry it like a bag. Which, in and of itself, that is a kind of a cool bag. Anyway, so I just wanted to throw that one in there. Um, okay, so this is Michelle Design Company. The Mila Pants and Shorts. High-waisted, elasticized pull-on pants. Nothing revolutionary here. These are pajama pants, okay? Like, we've seen these time and time again. Um, they are $16. Uh, comfortable fit, classic design, roomy inseam pockets that are anchored at the waistband. No flappy pockets. Yes. I did a little cheerleading dance and everything. Um, perfect for the everyday outfit. They also work great for lounging and sleeping in. Okay. So, hip is 35 inches to 63 inches, light to medium weight woven fabrics like cotton, linen, cupro, which is Bimberg. Nope. Cupro, which is rayon? And then viscose rayon. Cupro is a name brand for fill in the blank and let me know in the comments. Um, a half an inch wide elastic. I like a deep wide elastic um, waistband. And then fusible interfacing, safety pin. Yeah, we know what that is for. Check out these hashtags. Okay, great. Let's look at the pattern itself. So she's made, yeah, elastic. Can you, can we? Oh, okay. Oh, wait, hold on. Now can I scroll through? Can scroll through. I have to keep coming back here and zooming. So we're not going to do that. But yeah, elastic waist, pants and shorts. Got it. Now, is she going to show us? Okay. So here, and again, it could be because everyone who has pockets poses with their hands in their pockets and we can't see anything, but it might be a little too small through the hip line here, which is why you're getting this buckling, but maybe that's because she put her hand in her pocket. I don't know. I'll never know. Here are the shorts. Oh, good. We can see the waistband here. Great. Yeah, and even though she's raising her arms, 
all of this still looks really good. Here she is. Oh, this is a choice. Um, yeah, fitted, fitted through the back and roomy through the front. Front. That's an interesting choice. She does have a bit of a like curve, like she has a kind of a curvy bum. So maybe that's what's going on here, but you would think it'd be a little bit roomier with all that elastic. Um, so considering, consider even just adding to like to the back side seams to give yourself some more room there, it'd be an easy fix. And then here's some purple ones. These are reading a little bit more like joggers, but they are woven. This is mildly concerning. But again, it could be the pose. Oh, look, I can just scroll down. I had no idea. Yeah, still doing that. Twisting around. So maybe she didn't cut them on green? I don't know. Oh, this looks better, though. There's a lot more room through here on the pant. Here's a cute little, like, quilting cotton short, I guess. Yeah, I guess the other picture where it was pooling was because she had her hand in her pocket. Does she sell that tank top? Because that's real cute. I would wear that all the time. Is that a pattern of hers? Here's our size chart. She does it in letters. I love when they do that too. Um, fabric requirements. Lots of cute versions. Oh, thank you so much for getting this little stripe right down the middle. That looks so good. These are her tester makes. Okay. Lots of pictures. Look, hands in pockets and it still looks good. Love to see that. That's a drapier fabric. So dressier, drapier, more like a culotte. These are more like, you know, those, the boxer short trend that was happening. That's what that looks like. Okay. We get the idea. Dress them up, dress them down, whatever you want. Make a set. Don't make a set. Up to you. Okay. Next we have, oh, I'm so excited about this one. This is the Tint of Mint uh, Elodie Short Coat. Can I please just quickly draw your attention to these little bows? Oh, I'm just like, <laughs> oh my God, that's so cute. Okay. So make your perfect jacket this season using the Elodie Coat Pattern. You'll learn how to make invisible side pockets, so aligning to a coat, make button-down fastening and self-covered buttons, as well as a rounded collar. Use a soft wool, which hers, yeah, might be some kind of like brushed something. Um, what did, where did it go? Soft wool, what? Soft wool, corduroy or fleece to make this jacket and finish the inside with satin. Below you'll find more details. Okay, lots of videos. These are all your printing things, intermediate, not intermittent. Those are different words. Um, seam allowances included, designed for five, six. Open back, this pattern features an open back, front darts, neck, no. This is for something else. This got copied and pasted from somewhere else. Um, Fabric requirements, blah, 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 questions. Okay, did we not have sizing? Is that up here in the little tab? Size guide. Oh. Uh, uh, oh, here's the size. Oh my gosh, hold on, these numbers. So US 0 to 20, and that is 30 three inches in the bus to 50. So not the best, not the worst in terms of size inclusivity, but these little tie things. Oh my God. So cute. Oh yeah. That's a nice detail. That's a nice little top stitching detail. I mean, maybe because it's in this like mid-tone, like bubblegum pink too. I don't know. The whole thing is just so freaking cute. And the bottom is not elasticized or bubble hem, but it's just kind of looking that way here and here, but it's not. 
Yes. Love it. That's it. So cute. How much is this one? See? 10 pounds. Which I don't know how that converts. Let's see. Can we look through here? Oh, we have all the monies. Uh, U.S. dollar. Oh, here we go. $14. Okay. Okay. Wow. That's really, those numbers are <laughs> not what they used to be. I have some videos where they're like almost the same, the pound and the dollar. Huh. Okay. Yeah. That's economic. So there's not, we're not talking about that right now. Okay. So LB textiles, um, has the Gibbons slip dress, $16 bias cut slip dress comes with multiple necklines back and length options can be mixed and matched view a has a deep free deep v front with a gathered bust v back and finishes at the calf view b is a mini dress with a subtly shaped v-neck um the back features optional darts for extra shaping the pattern cut on the bias allows the dress to gently mold to the body if you have never put a bias cut dress on your body i'm here to tell you it looks good on every single body type. I don't care if you have the most curves or the least curves, it does not matter. It just has a magical way of like hugging the curves you want it to and like flowing over the curves you don't want it to. It's just wonderful. It's just absolutely just such a wonderful thing. It just takes up so much fabric, which is why people don't do it very often. But we have this V underbus with these gathers. Um, these should, this, I think this seam is in the right place. I just feel like these gathers need to be here, right? Doesn't that feel like, like what is this bubbly thing? You know, and it was on the other one too right? This one is actually too low. The seam. Like, why is this seam way up here? And this seems way, something happened here. That something really, really is off with that. Um, here's the back. Okay. Issues with the back. It's probably too small around here. Is the back cut on the bias? Because that feels like something that bias wouldn't do. It feels like it wouldn't puddle here. Then again, this shoulder is way higher. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what's going on with this. Um, yeah, this. Yeah, that looks a lot better through here. We are getting a little bit of pooling here, but that might just be the length that needs to come out and not a width issue. Okay, so this is their size chart. Um, the hip, 34.6 up to 60.2. So that's good. So this sand washed silk, Joanne has something called a sand, sanded satin. That's what that looked like to me. That would be the perfect choice. Um, but Cupro, Rayon, Tinsel, Silk Satin, Silk Charmeuse, Silk Crepe, Linen Viscose, and Wash Linen would all be good options. Okay. I agree with that. Thread, buttons, eight, okay. Five seven. Don't take too much notice of the finished garment measurements as these will change with each different fabric choice. The measurements have been taken from a static pattern piece, but the fabric will stretch and fit around the body as it's been cut on the bias and will have more give than something cut on the straight grain. Okay, that's true, but finished garment measurements are still the finished garment measurements don't change. They are what they are. Well, I get what she's saying. It's like pattern measurements are static. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I can get behind that. I can get behind that. So there's an AB cup and a CD cup. That's helpful. 
Maybe that's what happened with that green one is that they used a different bust cup. I don't know. Um, yeah, lots of information here already. What I didn't see, oh, I did see. There are line drawings, but didn't she say there was like view A, view B, multiple neckline back and length options that can be mixed and matched. Okay. I just, I thought multiple meant more than two, but there's two backs and two fronts. Okay. Um, I do know that someone that I trust very much when it comes to patterns pattern texting, you know, all of that, um, grace Weezer dreams on Instagram tested this pattern. So if the designer listened to her suggestions, then I know for sure you're going to get a good pattern that is signed off by grace, which makes me feel much better about buying a pattern. If I know grace's fingers have been on it because she's so, so, so thorough. She does it for a living. She's a technical designer, I think it's called. So just trust her immensely. If you don't already follow her on Instagram, you should go do that. Okay. So these are the seam work patterns for September. We have the sage top fitted button up with beautifully tailored bodice featuring princess seams, subtly shaped center front hem, neckline finished with a lining on the center front and back panels. Okay, a sewn on placket with buttons adds a touch of classic detailing while full sleeves gather the hem, elastic casing create a dramatic effect. Got it, paired with, okay, got it, all of that. And then sometimes they have a bonus. The other one must have the bonus. Okay, so here are our photos. So button front, and then what they're saying about the finishing of the neckline is this whole part, all of this, all of this, all of this from the print in between the two princess seams is lined. This is unlined, unlined, and this is all lined. So similar to the balloon sleeve one that we looked at, it just has um, buttons up the front. This looks a little... Like the opening is really wide and the shoulders kind of long for th that combo. We, you should fill in the front. Well, you should probably take away some of the shoulder length no matter what. It's hard to say what the intent was because this seam is sitting where the sleeve should sit. Is it supposed to be like a little bit? slouchy do we have line drawings oh here's the bonus oh for a cap sleeve okay well um yeah it looks the same on every body so that makes me feel like that was the intent to have a bit more of like a drop shoulder we're gonna wait to see the line drawings here are the girlies next to each other Yeah, both of them are having this little issue. Is that a shoulder slope issue? Yeah, probably this sleeve is contributing to that too. Also kind of a long, too long of a sleeve. Kind of, just barely. I do like all of these like no photos with hands above the head. Like we're not doing anything dramatic. Like we're just sitting and that's what it looks like. So I appreciate that. This probably means it's not big enough through the bust. And I did notice that on one of her other pictures. It was just pulled a little tight across the bust. It looked good though. It didn't look bad. Maybe it was more they were standing next to each other. Yeah. See how this is tight across her chest, whereas on hers it isn't. Um, so they could have just let out some of the seam allowance on the princess seam and it would have been fine. But I don't know if this is somebody that they work with all the time or if that's just a model that they hired for this. I don't know how seam work does it, but <sighs> yeah, it's <sighs> my inclination is telling me that 
It's not. Like all of this is supposed to be pulled up. All of this is supposed to sit on top of the shoulder. How did we get here? The back, the length of the back neckline is too long. Is that what it is? I don't know. But that doesn't look like a drop shoulder to me. Nor does this look super, super wide. So yeah, it could just be an issue of this panel being too wide. This middle one, maybe? Okay, that's it for that one. Um, and then the other seam work pattern for September, September was the meadow blouse. Um, perfect blend of classic charm and modern flair. Features a dramatic ruffle collar, touch of whimsy, also a touch of clown. So be very, 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 very careful in the fabrics that you choose. Um, the sleeve gives a bit more drama gathered with a subtle puff at the hem and adorned with binding for a polished finish. Center back seam with a keyhole closure makes it easy to wear, but high on the glamour. Okay. So, and then the bonus for this one, no bonus. Okay, so only one pattern gets the bonus and the other one got it. Light to medium weight woven fabrics, cotton lawn, cotton gauze, wall, chambray, Swiss dot, round chalet, linen, round crepe, and silk. Um, Sarah is wearing striped double gauze. Morgan is wearing sheer ivory check. I think this must be Morgan. Um, okay. No notions other than, is there a hook and eye, didn't they say? Because in supplies, where did it say? Oh, up here. Um, keyhole. Maybe it's like a button and a loop, but still you'd need the button. Yeah, here's the stripe. So that is not Morgan. That is Sarah. Sarah Morgan. Yeah, this one looks good. And see where this ends, where this ends? Why doesn't the other one end there? Or if it does, why does the sleeve like pull over it? I don't understand that. Um, I also want to point out this. This is the same pose that the itch to stitch pattern had. Remember I was pointing out like the perfect arm size. This one, not so perfect. Can you see how this is really tight? and being pulled through here. Can you see how it's being stretched a little bit? That's the difference. Not that it can't be fixed, right? Not that it would even fit you this way, um, if it's Sarah this way, but if you did your muslin and it fit this way, then you would need to do a full bicep adjustment. Um, I don't think it's a matter of the side seam being too short. Um, that looks fine. It's just a little tight through here when she tries to move a little bit. Yep, Morgan's looks good. Yeah, this is, I don't think it's shorter. I think it's just being like billowing away from her body. This arm side looks like it does go up onto the shoulder. So that's good. Oh, the bias binding ties in a bow. Well, isn't that the cutest, sweetest thing I've ever seen? I want that in the front. I want that in the front for sure. And actually now that I'm looking at it, if this is the sleeve seam and I can't tell fully if it is, that's kind of where our issue was coming from. Yeah, I need to get in there and see it better. Here's your bust start. That looks like it's in the right place and long, like also the right length. Um, I'm going to demand a tutorial from them on how to make the back, the front and the front, the back. Maybe it's pretty straightforward once you get into the pattern pieces, but yeah, see something weird going on with the arm size. Hers is a little tight too, not the most tight. Oh, what's this picture? Yeah, kinda, kinda, sorta. Um, sorry, let me get back to where I was quickly. Again, just nitpicking these. Most people that 
you come across in a day are never going to notice any of this. You might notice this just because it could be a little uncomfortable as you like go to wear it throughout the day. Um, but yeah, we've got something happening in the arm side for sure. Probably more attributed actually to the sleeve head than the arm side itself. But those two things play so closely together. It'd be hard to say for sure. Okay. So that's seam works September. And this was the slate skirt was, um, closet cores, the crew pattern for September. Um, so you have to get the unlimited plan to have access to this one now, um, because it's, it's available. How do I say it? It's available during the actual month it was released to people that sign up for the like monthly plan to get access to their entire catalog. You have to get the unlimited plan. Okay. Another kind of pencil skirt though. This one might have a little bit of a shape to it at the bottom. Um, classic A-line silhouette, nods to the seventies, high waist and wide waistband, two links, lapped zipper, striking top stitching, optional pockets. You'll love pairing it with all the tops and sweaters in your wardrobe. A is below knee with below knee length with center slit and oversized patch pockets. View B is mini length with or without pockets. And there she is. Okay, so yeah, it looks a little big on her at the at the waist. It's just said it didn't say anything about whether the waistband was straight or curved or anything. Or did it say yeah, it said a high waist. Okay. So it should be sitting at the high waist. It could just be a little bit tighter on her, I think. We also could have gotten an iron in here. Uh, oh, the lapped zipper is in the back. Okay. Cute little walkie walk. Ooh, I love. That's, you can tell she's like, I look cute. Yes, you do. So center front seam that's top stitched. Uh-huh. Yeah, that's cute silhouette on her for sure. Here she is in a denim one. Yeah, that one looks good on her. See, the waistband is nice and high as it should be at her natural waist. It might have a little bit too much ease in it, but I don't know. I'd have to see her like walk around in it and if it starts falling down or not. Yeah, cute. Looks good on everybody. Well, the two people. Look how happy she looks. Oh yeah, it is tilting. It is falling in the front, which again, because I think it's too big in the waist on both people. Yeah, there it's nice and level. Cute. Great. Yeah, it's a great little pattern, I gotta say. It looks really good. Okay, that's it for our photos for that. And that is a wrap. That makes, what am I saying? That's a wrap on <laughs> September's new indies. I'm going to quickly um, click through them one more time as a reminder, but you guys let me know what you thought of all these new patterns. Did you just randomly end up getting one last month when it was released? Um, have you had a chance to make any of these by chance? Um, other than that, just like what are your general thoughts about what the indie peeps are doing in terms of their patterns and designs um, for this month. I, yeah, it was hard to tell there was any like, you know, overarching theme, like sometimes that presents itself. Um, but this time, not so much, kind of all over the board. But yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. That's going to do it for me today. I will see you all very soon. Bye!